Hey there. I'd just like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to come and check out our little corner of the world through Dynascape software. Here we're going to be talking about how Dynascape has committed their complete operation to streamlining operations for professional landscape companies. Dynascape software is a completely integrated software suite, essentially one ecosystem. We have our CAD solution, which is Dynascape Design, our color add-on, Dynascape Color, integration with 3D using SketchUp, our online component warehouse uh, of plugins and 3D components is Sketch 3D, and our landscape business operating just system, Manage 360. Starting with Dynascape Design, it offers impressive presentations, easily set up your drawing very quickly, has a giant library of symbols and figures, has a live online plant database powered by Horticopia, and offers a full CAD engine that's built in. You have the ability to add plant photos to your drawing and label every component. If you want to be able to offer your clients a plant picture catalog to show them the plants that are going into their new outdoor living space, you can easily create that as well. Dynascape color. There's color and then there's color. As you can see in the uh, screen capture, the richness and the depth offered by shadows and transparencies uh, are unparalleled. It's one of the most well-respected presentations on the market through landscape software. It gives you that hand rendered quality. At the end of the day, it's really easy to use and you save an incredible amount of time. It offers advanced shading effects, which gives it that depth and richness that you're looking for in a landscape presentation. It has a huge library of color swatches, or you can create your own. And you're able to control the layers and use transparencies, which in large trees, you can show the understory, which allows you to tell and explain the full design intent. And then of course, there's 3D, and we integrate with SketchUp for 3D, so directly from Dynascape Design. Sketch 3D is a comprehensive warehouse of 3D components, offering real trees, real shrubs, plants, grasses, rocks, tropicals, and the list goes on. The benefit of having real is that it's true to life at full maturity, and it comes into scale. We offer a plugin for SketchUp, referred to as the CAD cleanup tool. So it will take your line drawing, clean it up so that in SketchUp, it will offer uh, your line drawing faces so that you can model it, begin modeling right away within just a few clicks. And it really is your connection to SketchUp. It's our um, hope and intent that this makes SketchUp landscape specific for you. And then we tie it all together with a landscape business operating system, and that's Manage 360. It offers budgeting, sales management, or a customer resource management system, a complete estimating system for both design, build, and maintenance landscape companies, full contract management, which includes change orders and production management of crews, it offers mobile crew tracking, with native iOS and Android uh, app, build directly out of Manage360 and offer your complete reporting so that you can make the business decisions that you need to based on the work that you're doing. Let's dive in and take a look at some of our applications here. Here we have Dynascape Design. 
is a full CAD solution, not AutoCAD, but CAD nonetheless, computer aided design. Dynascape Design is a CAD system, but 100% for landscape. It's the only industry that this piece of software serves. We have all of the very landscape specific tools here, including a cluster tool, which offers plant massing ability so that when you select one plant, it selects them all. We have a softscape labeling tool, which is connected to either Manage 360 for full takeoffs and estimating integration, or an online plant database powered by Horticopia. A hardscape labeling tool, which is also connected to your Manage 360 cost book, or you have the ability to input your own labels with pricing. You can export your plant and material list directly to Word or Excel. Uh, you can export your plant columns by quantity, botanical name, common name, size, and price. Sort them alphabetically. You can um, group plants um, and materials by work order and phase. Uh, and then choose whether it's going to Microsoft Excel or Word. Cre easily create a plant schedule to show all of the plants that are in your drawing, on the drawing. And so choose the uh, information that you'd like to display here. A great landscape drafting system wouldn't be complete without a full figure library. And here we have our trees, but the list is vast. So shrubs, perennials, grasses, trees, palms, uh, tropical and desert plants, rocks, pavers, pools, um, vehicles. And we can show what a vehicle would look like on your plan. We have bicycles. all the way down to water features, title blocks, light fixtures, irrigation, 2D symbols, outdoor kitchens and fireplaces, and additional libraries for just about everything that you need to be able to do uh, in an outdoor living space. You can create your own favorites, uh, and save symbols to your favorites for ones that you access on a very regular basis. You can import PDFs and JPEGs. One of the most important features here is being able to bring in a site plan or a survey, uh, scale it, and be able to create your landscape plan from it. Now over to Dynascape Color. So we have the same plan in Dynascape Color. And shout out to our good friend, Patrick Duchesne for helping us with this drawing at Duchesne Design Solutions. You have several different styles. We have contemporary marker hybrid, pencil crayon, and the complete catalog of Teco Block. All of their pavers and wall textures. My favorite is a combination between marker hybrid and contemporary. And that's what this color rendering is. So full uh, library of swatches in, within Marker Hybrid, you see the ability to have all of these different trees and shrubs and perennials, um, example of some of the tropicals and desert plants that we have available, uh, mulch and turf. Um, so if we select this turf swatch and click right here, you can see that it's highlighted in blue. And so when we do that and zoom out, that it takes on that swatch. And we can adjust that. So if we want to bring down its opacity uh, and reduce its subtlety so that we can do that, it's also available. We can uh, bleed it out past uh, the line if we so wish. Lots and lots of customization. If we select the tree here, we can adjust its opacity. 
and bring it right down so that we can see the understory. You can change its rotation, adjust its bleed. So if we want it to look a little bit more full or bring it right down within the uh, guides of that symbol, we can do that. And we can also adjust the shadow. So we can adjust the direction of that shadow, you know, down and to the right, uh, adjust its depth to give it some height uh, or bring it down. Um, so we'll give it a little bit more height, uh, adjust its um, opacity, make it a little bit darker so that we can see it uh, and adjust its blur. So you can make it a hard blur or a hard shadow if it was like a grill or a car um, or a more diffuse shadow uh, as light comes through the leaves in that tree. A great um, function within Dynascape Color is the ability to update the presentation. This happens a lot. So what you'll do is, um, make an adjustment in your CAD drawing over here, and you'll want to reflect that in color. So if we go ahead and uh, just remove um, this tree here, and we'll save it, go back into color, file update presentation, and we'll select the drawing that we want and say, are you sure you can't go back? Absolutely we do. Now that tree is gone, and um, we don't have to go back and re-render the rest of the drawing. So handy, handy feature saves a lot of time. Now, um, let's head into um, Manage 360. But one thing that I'd like to talk about before we do that is the ability to export this drawing so that we can import it into Manage 360. So you have the ability to, first of all, export uh, and import um, AutoCAD files or DWGs. Uh, so we're gonna export the um, Manage 360 file and we'll save it as the O'Grady residence and we'll hit save and it says, do you wanna overwrite? Yes, I do. Now we'll pop over into um, Manage 360 and um, here we have Manage 360, this is a cloud-based system, access it from any browser. And we'll go ahead and pull up uh, the O'Grady account. And so we have all of the account information here um, for the O'Grady account, including all the tasks, um, journal, all the things that have been done, any opportunities. So we have the opportunity already. That's how the phase that we're at within this is the estimating phase. Um, and we have an estimated budget after talking to Mr. O'Grady. Uh, so from here, we're gonna go and create the construction estimate. And we'll select that opportunity from a blank estimate. And here is really where some of the power comes in between Dynascape Design and Manage 360 is that integration between the design and the estimate. So we're going to import, we'll choose that uh, file that we exported from Dynascape Design and we'll upload it and it'll say, here's all the things that are in that drawing. Uh, we just need you to make a couple of selections here uh, from the uh, lead items within the kits that you selected. Go ahead and submit that and it's gonna populate um, the items now within that. So we have the work areas as we created them, the fire pit, materials, outdoor kitchen, pizza oven, and plantings. And if we go back into uh, the drawing here and we go and look at our work areas, we can see we have um, the outdoor kitchen, pizza oven, patio, fire pit. Um, we didn't put any items into site work or site prep and grading, which is why they didn't show up. So if we had added any kind of labels under those, then they would have showed up in our estimate. So if we expand uh, the fire pit, uh, we see the kit that's in there and all of the items that go along with that. Uh, within that estimate, so this is a design build estimate. Uh, it'll show your labor, uh, your materials, your total cost and price, uh, it'll show total rolled up uh, hours, your total cost, 
and your total price. That's a simple view. We have your edit view and your analysis view. So if you go into analysis view, um, you can see your labor, materials, equipment, subcontractors, miscellaneous items. And then further on down here, uh, obviously we didn't add all of the uh, labels or uh, materials that are in that drawing. But uh, to give you an example, the cost, you have a cost, overhead, break even, profit, and grand total. We can adjust our profit. And based on the budget that's set within Manage 360, you can have prescribed um, profit percentages that are built into the system. So on a break even point of 85%, uh, profit of 15. Uh, we can also go ahead and adjust it um, and make it an even 2,500, which will adjust uh, the overall profit percentage to 16.4% for a grand total of $15,286.23. Now, if you feel like nobody can estimate down to the penny um, and you'd like to uh, round that out, let's call it 15,500. Uh, it'll then roll up all the way through. So now we have a profit percentage of 17.5% for a grand total profit of $2,713.77. So we'll save that. And when we do, it'll say, hey, you haven't calculated your general conditions. Do you wanna go ahead and do that? Um, and so general conditions are all those things that you wanna account for within the job, uh, like um, site access. If you're on the job site for an extended period of time without access to um, restroom facilities, then you can bring in uh, portable restrooms. Um, that would be a cost accounted for that. Um, load and unload time, cleanup time, all those ancillary things that are related to the job that happen with every single job that um, no matter what job you're going to have an expense for, as long as you're doing jobs for clients, uh, can go in as general conditions. Uh, so when you say yes, it'll bring up all of your available uh, general conditions to do that and, and apply that to uh, your estimate. You can adjust the payment options. So um, here we have a milestone billing. So um, upon these milestones uh, are the prescribed amounts. Uh, you can set it up as a percentage complete. You can set up as many different payment types as you want within the categories of payment. Uh, and of course, manual payments, you can set those up as well. You can add opportunity notes, proposal notes, crew instructions and private notes. These private notes um, don't ever make the light of day on any customer facing document or internal uh, use only. The crew instructions uh, are what will uh, appear on the timesheet. So just to give you a quick navigation, um, the home button will always bring you back to um, your tasks or in Manage 360. Uh, your contacts have all of your accounts, your contacts and your suppliers under sales. You manage your opportunities. You have your construction or design build estimates and your maintenance estimates. Under production is where you'll manage all of your crews and the production of your jobs and services that you offer. So you can schedule all of your maintenance type visits. You can route um, all your maintenance crews, a list of all your jobs to access them all any work orders you have on the go, access all of your timesheets through our mobile app. Um, you'll be able to uh, audit your crews uh, from where they clock in, uh, in relation to the job site uh, and access all of your billing, reporting uh, and access to your cost book. So if we take this and um, go ahead and under, under actions, so we have a number of things that we can do here. Uh, like view proposal. So before we can move forward, we have to present this proposal. And um, we can do that uh, through here. And we'll go ahead and view that proposal. And essentially what it does is spit it out as a Word document. So we'll go ahead and open that Word document. And you can see what that looks like here. So we have all of the necessary uh, information. Um, the only addition I would uh, typically put in front here is um, a paragraph on essentially why the homeowners should select you um, moving forward. 
So professional looking proposal. Once the uh, client has signed off on that proposal, uh, you can go in and um, you have the ability to save it as a template. So if you like how this estimate was put together, you can save it and reuse it for uh, other clients and other opportunities. If you uh, are winning this estimate, then you'll click on estimate one. Uh, unfortunately, if you do lose it, there's a, uh, an avenue for that too. So you can track uh, the opportunities that you lost. So hit estimate one and it'll say, great, um, how come you want it? And you can choose on price, whether they're a repeat client, they're based on reputation service. Um, we did select a October 18th potential start date. So we can select a crew here already if we know who that's gonna be. Uh, we'll select the gray crew. And we won this because of our reputation. We'll click on win. And so what this will do is bring us now to a contract. So it'll lock down the estimate that we just put together. And from here is where we'll manage uh, everything to do with um, the job here. And you have um, all the uh, expected information. Um, we're gonna take this uh, till the end of November. We have a supervisor, we'll make Wesley the supervisor. Um, any tasks that are related with this, um, we can create new tasks or add a set of tasks. And the set of tasks um, are repeatable steps for every job, um, a new account or new opportunity that comes in um, so that nothing slips through the cracks and everybody knows what they need to do and is reminded when they need to be able to do that. Um, the job log or timesheets, uh, any timesheets against this job, um, or that have this job on it will show up here. Uh, and here's the contract. So, you know, we have the fire pit and the, all the additional materials, the outdoor kitchen and pizza oven uh, and plantings, just like we did in the uh, estimate. However, now it's all locked down. So if we go in this, we can't actually edit anything in here. If the client does want a change, that's where we create a change order. And so we have a powerful change order management system uh, within this, uh, system in Manage360, the ability to add new items, delete, make substitutions, and change quantities. Now, managing this as changes come is highly important and crucial to the management of large projects or any projects, really. So create your change orders as a client requests them, have them sign off and pay for them before any additional work continues. Within this, you can access reports, uh, reports like material list, purchase orders. So you can go ahead and um, once you've won the uh, project, uh, before you get going on it, you, know, you need to order your materials. So you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can create additional work orders uh, for uh, work that needs to happen within that job as well. You can access all of the billing directly through this job. Um, and so the first payment acceptance upon proposal, you can select that uh, and create the invoice and uh, generate the invoice and it'd be ready to go. And we can um, get that ready to shoot over to QuickBooks with the uh, integration. So if we just wanna take a look at what that invoice looks like. So we have um, the first payment uh, upon acceptance of proposal and we have $5,112.40. So from here, we can see all the invoices that have uh, been applied. We can see that it's unposted. We haven't uh, sent it over to QuickBooks yet. Uh, and the job actuals are here. So um, within that, we can see the material, the labor, uh, general conditions. Uh, and within that, um, what the unit type was, how much we estimated, um, how much showed up on the job log from the timesheet. If we need to change the actual price of uh, the item, then we can do that inside of here um, or the actual quantity and then the actual price here. Uh, and from here, it'll show what we've estimated, what was used on the timesheet, how much we actually used overall and what the variance was. So we can stay on top of this job on a day-to-day -day basis as long as the crews are using the mobile uh, crew tracking app. And then of course, the analysis, um, we can um, um, get a view of uh, 
in a graphical way what is being um, estimated versus actuals. So back to uh, timesheets. Um, within timesheets, we can go and um, create a new timesheet and we're gonna create it for um, the gray crew and we'll have it forward dated um, to October 18th, the start date. We'll create that timesheet and we'll see the O'Grady residence job um, on that timesheet for the entire day. And so um, we can go ahead and schedule that and um, uh, we can add a few folks to our crew as well. Uh, so we'll add Deborah and Olympia to the crew. And so then when they um, pull up their mobile app, um, the timesheet will show up for them on that app. There's some fantastic reporting inside of Managed 360. Uh, employee hours report for the purpose of payroll, job profitability reporting, efficiency reporting, job progress, um, maintenance job actuals versus estimated um, within the um, sales and estimating function. You can generate account lists or customer lists, um, have a sales performance report, uh, sales pipeline reports to stay on track of all of your sales, which is highly, highly uh, important. Uh, inside of the settings, of course, this is where you control every setting and configuration within Managed 360, um, right down to the division. And if we go into landscape construction, this is where you'll set your budget, um, with that, which has your default labor burden. You can notice that um, when you hover your mouse over uh, certain items within the budget here, uh, it'll tell you what uh, some of these terms mean. So default crew size, uh, the time that they start and the time that they end, uh, when they typically take lunch and how long their working days uh, of the week, uh, and then the overhead recovery model. So whether you choose multiple, uh, multiple overhead recovery method, single markup, labor only, uh, choose uh, and work through uh, your revenue projections, material costs, or plant costs, uh, anticipated labor costs for this season, um, equipment costs, projected subcontractor costs. Um, you'll get a total cost of goods sold and gross profit. Um, you'll also be able to work out your total overhead. You'll be able to prescribe your overhead markups and these are the baseline um, markups from the uh, Vanderkoy method um, when Charles Vanderkoy developed the uh, multiple overhead recovery system, as well as the uh, profit margins used for estimating. So all of this goes into driving uh, how much uh, overall um, you'll be looking to uh, both markup and add profit to each um, estimate that you put out the door. We'd love to continue our conversation. So please uh, visit our website, dianscape.com. Give us a call at 1-800-710-1900, extension two, or uh, give us an email, uh, sales at dianscape.com. Like I said, we'd love to continue the conversation. Let's get in touch and talk about how we can help streamline your landscape business operation.